All right, I'm gonna remember, just keep your head down, take your time, don't be afraid. Nice shot. She's always jumping up. It's like I know, two. it's okay. What did you think about that? Good. Is it just like uh, in youth season? Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, you did great. You got your big buck in youth season. Now it's December 9th, second shotgun. We're gonna go out and like we're just warming up. We got a we got a front coming through. What do you see, Anna? Two no. perfect shots, Bryn. Wait, I think one got in there. Yeah, one's right in the bullseye. Arm through there. Put your head through there. hike up to the cherry tree blind and uh, we've got cut corn on the other side of the fence we've got a little tiny bit of standing beans here little miscommunication when we were combining uh, normally leave about an acre right here we have just a little tiny bit of it but um, they're gonna be through that standing stuff here pretty soon there's quite a bit of waste grain so there's plenty of food right here we sprinkled a little bit of brassicas in the crossing and this camera has shown over the evenings that there's been quite a bit of activity. As I mentioned on the drive over, we have a west wind. It's about 20 miles an hour. That blows it right back down the fence line. Bren's up to bat. She's got the 350 Legend in hand. And we're super excited. There's a few targets on this end of the farm. The, the primary one would be Sebastian. He's a six by six that we've got four years of history with. And we also have a old uh, eight pointer that we have at least three years of history with just a big bodied eight that's been um, in this area and there's other bucks on the farm too that are mature so I think those are the best two or the most likely two to run into up on the hill here what do you think Brian we've practiced a lot this year today we only practiced twice and one was in the bullseye and one was outside the bullseye right outside of it you did very good with your techniques that you've learned you kept your head down slow squeeze on the trigger shooting great i'm excited we got snacks and hot chocolate excited to see what the evening brings she shot her first deer out of this blind i know it that's what we're talking about walking up the hill she said i remember we're gonna get quiet and see how the evening unfolds we've had a few dozen fawns come across to cut beans already so
up right here. I think so, yeah. Just hold on one second. I'm trying to figure out what buck this is. If it's one we want to shoot, okay? Just hold on. Decent sized body, but I can't really tell. over here.
Bryn, you want to say what happened? Um, there, I, we were actually really close to shooting the deer. Um, there was coyote that came up, and there was a fawn and a doe that he was like, attractive to, and he was coming over, but then that um, coyote like scared them away. And that was one of our chances, so we'll try to come back tomorrow to see if we can get him. But we were really close. Yeah, we were. You were doing good staying in the gun. The, there's a little bit of beans that is over the crest of the hill against the timber there. And, uh, man, of course, uh, all the deer are just hanging right over the crest, and all we could see was his head. And the doe and the fawn were working up onto the crest, and it was like, he's going to follow him. And of course, right as he starts to come up, that big, big giant male coyote came out the other way and, and spooked them all. And they actually ran right here 10 yards from the blind, but pretty cool deer. I mean, that's the eight point I mentioned in the opening interview. He's, we have at least three years of history with him and huge body on him. I think he's at, at least a five year old. Or, so it'd be a really cool one for, for Brendan to shoot. And so anyway, we'll, we're gonna, we'll stick after him. She's got this second gun season tag. It goes through next Sunday and we should be able to get out three, four, five times, something like that. So we'll be back out tomorrow. <laughs>